We are here, we are here, we are here on this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up GBP, JPY. We are on the monthly time frame. Price action identifies a bullish green candle. <clears throat> Could be working out an uh, area of support. We do have price action overall, lower lows. Price action overall, higher highs. Midpoint. Also adding second level lows. And also adding third level lows. So let's zoom in the price to take a look at what's going on. So price action we identify as a bullish green candle, but it's a bullish green doji. Uh, second to last candles is a doji cross. So we have a huge area of consolidation. So we waiting for that breakout of that area. The market's consolidating within a whole overall consolidation of that area. So to see a clear breakout, we're looking for that price to break out of that highest wick of the second to last candle and the lowest wick of that second to last candle. And if price is currently sitting at 162.5, 300 so if price work is way up we're looking for price to head up to the next SR line of 165.353 and if price work is way down we're looking for price to head down towards one fifty nine point four ninety three we see price action hanging out in that midpoint so we have consolidation until our overall cause consolidation is because we want to see price action break out that little tight consolidation that's currently in. And also we're going to see price action break out that huge consolidation because of that second last candle wick. So we can see that price action coming from a pattern at the low. So that's can be pushing this market up. And if so, market's coming from a overall first, second, third, fourth, retest one, retest two overall retest three overall retest we're looking for the breakout for that fourth push so at the bottom we did receive four pushes to that bottom which is quadruple bottom and if price action tagged that area resistance as it's doing and work its way down if we receive an engulfment pattern towards a price action definitely the second last can do wick so market did it do a break and a retest at this area here so that will be identified as the first leg overall second third leg and we look for a pattern to engulf the previous candles on that side, even that second last candle wick, mark is coming down from a double top. Or we can receive that consolidation sideways within that tight area or within the second last candle. Walking our way down to the weekly time frame, price action on the weekly time frame is identifying a bullish green candle. So to break this area down, we do have price action with the resistance, price action with the support. So market is hanging out at that midpoint of that area. So we're looking for price to either break up or break down within that area. So market already tagged that area, that midpoint. So it's either going to break up and break out with the pattern or it's going to just uh, hit that resistance as it's doing and work its way back down. Walking down to the daily time frame. So price action on a daily time frame, identifying a bullish green candle. Did We did receive the engulfment to the opposite side which can push that market up because it's a solid candle, but market just ran into a midpoint area. So we definitely want to see as we walk down the time frame, price start breaking that midpoint to see what's really going on. Walking our way down to the four hour time frame, same as well. So price action near that zone that we created or that midpoint that we created, that SR line of resistance. So we're going to see if that, like I said before, that market's going to work its way down or will we receive more of a push for that market to break retest and work his way up further and if so mark will be coming from that first second third fourth formation of the four double bottom break retest and we'll see that market work his way up walking down to a three hour time frame same as well did receive the engulfment to the previous side price action body did engulf the previous body so it can't push that market up but price action wick did not engulf the previous wick and why because it made it to the sr line so we definitely got to wait for that market to do what it do for us to see what's going on. Two hour time frame, price action identifying as a bearish red doji. So this could be multiple things. It can be a pattern for this um, low, which identify first, second, third, fourth, 
retest one. So price action could be a retest again, and we'll see a bullish green candle to push that market out. If not, we're looking for a bearish red candle to engulf the price action and definitely a second last candle that can push that market down back to previous areas of that midpoint of second level lows so or within that area and it'll head back down to price of 160.969 headed down to the one hour time frame same as well same candle so market side by side with that consolidation could be a retest too colors are switching back and forth with the bearish bullish and bearish candle so it could just be a retest unless we see the following pattern uh candle after that to push that market down same as well with the 45 minute price second third to last candle all side by side all tag that area resistance three times for that triple top so also identifying that market push came back to retest and could be pushing out but definitely want to see the price action go off the previous side bodies and wicks walking down to 30 minute time frame same as well so we can see that market pushed up. Second last candle came back to retest and now its price doesn't have enough momentum to push and break out that previous side. If not, multiple pushes to that top, which is, which is considered a quadruple top. Market's having a hard time to break, which is still considered within that area, area consolidation. So we definitely went in for that break. Walking down to the 15 minute time frame, So we can see the market is consolidating within that area. So you can also add like a midpoint area here to see if anything's gonna be respected at that midpoint of that zone to push up further. And if we walk down the time frame, we may identify a retest or a pattern that's just gonna identify that market's gonna work its way up. And we just did, so on the five minute time frame, price action is a doji. Second last candle is a doji as well, so, or more like switching up. So second last candle is a doji bullish green. Price action is a bearish red candle with a long wake up to the top that loses momentum. So it's identifying that that market did tag that triple bottom here, broke up, came back to retest, and it tagged the top again. So it's just it's consolidating inside, inside of consolidation. So there's a consolidation happening at that uh, above that midpoint. So we're looking for that breakout. So it's gonna be a retest and breakout, or is it price action to engulf the second last candle body and wick and work its way down to that midpoint to work its way back down to previous price nearing numbers of 162.155. And if not, we receive that bullish green candle as it's going now. If it engulfs the second and third, market's working its way up to the next area, which would be at the midpoint 162.155. 368 and then headed up to our zone line of 162.468. Headed down to a three minute time frame, same as well. We're seeing that consolidation right above that midpoint of that area, waiting for that breakout. And headed down to the one minute time frame, still reading the same thing. So, as long as you keep on looking at this area, we'll see a pattern forming. But we can see that price action hanging out that midpoint of that zone that we created. So, it could be respected to work its way up. Second last candle and third last candle spike that area twice. Price action just engulfed. But if it closes out, then we know it's headed back to that midpoint. But if it closes out and break that SR line, it's headed back down to the next area. Very important information. Please set in review for its pattern cheat sheet, breakout and retest strategy. Click on images. Okay, guys. This is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching. And thank you for your attention. GBPJPY.